sure. Luckily, I left him with 36p for half a loaf of king's milk in his bank account. Yeah? <laughs> Hey, hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another reaction video. It's gonna be the pink courtroom, the thing that India and Netherlands are doing, so let's see. He's a liar, he's a cheat, he's a manipulator. Go live with your new babe. Hopefully you can start paying your rent for your own apartment. Hi, friends, you should be- Oh my God, what an intro, okay. Yo, I'm Nella Rose, and Jagal India, and welcome to the pink courtroom. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. The closed caption are wrong, so I'm just gonna turn them off. But now for real, for real, I'm off. Two thousand five hundred pounds from his bank account. Jamie says Katrina logged into his online banking and stole the money without his permission and knowledge. This has led Jamie to missing some of his household bill payments, and Jamie is demanding that the money taken from his account is to be paid to him, plus the late fees for the missed payments. So, before we get into the drama, and I, you know, get angry at anybody. I like his outfit a lot, but that's just before, before, <laughs> before any negativity clouds my judgment. Can you state your name, please, for the record? Uh, my name is Jamie. And the defendant, can you state your name for the record? Katrina. Katrina. So before we even get into anything, you guys need to take an oath from the pink court. Pass down to them. Thank you. Repeat after me, Jamie. I, Jamie. I, Jamie. Swear to tell the truth. Swear to tell the truth. Bombastic. Side eye. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. In the pink courtroom. In the pink courtroom. No matter how messy it may be. No matter how messy it may be. And repeat after me. Mm -hmm. I, Katrina. I, Katrina. So Did she? Am I stupid? One of them used their left hand because it was in the middle of both, so one of them used their left hand. But swear to tell the truth. Swear to tell the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. In the pink courtroom. In the pink courtroom. No matter how messy it may be. No matter how messy it may be. So you guys will have 60 seconds to present your opening statements where me and Charles Nella will then cross examine. Basically, you know, me and Katrina were in a relationship for around about a couple of years and uh, what actually happened in that relationship, you know, I went, I went through a little bit of a tight spot, so I was a little bit short for money. And I just asked her if I could borrow some money um, while I get out of that spot. And she was like, yeah, that's fine. So she gave me the money and I said, I'll pay it back. And she was like, no, you don't need to pay me back. You keep that money, you know, you've done a lot for me. I don't know if it's relationship, this and that. So I kept the money and then we ended up splitting up. And before we split up, I said to her, look, just do me to pay that money back I can. She's like, no, don't be silly, it's fine. I've moved into a new place, you know, I'm heading on with life. And, and now what I found is she's actually just come into my bank account, just taking this money out. I've got notifications saying like I've missed payments, you know, they're late, things like that. So I've obviously checked that and I've like, wow, there's all this money's come out. And it turns out she's just taken 2,500 out of my account without telling me, you know, it's illegal, it's fraud. So I'm here because obviously I want that money back and I want the money that I've had to pay in fines, you know, added on top of this because of what she's done to me, you know, it's not right. Yeah. Yeah. So I was with Jamie for two years. During a relationship, he was lying, cheating, manipulating. Towards the end of the relationship, I decided it just got so toxic, like I just couldn't deal with it no more. Towards the end of the relationship, Jamie called me and he said he had some financial problems. And because I'm a good person and I've got a good heart, you know, I bound him out of them problems. I give him two and a half thousand pounds. When I give him the money, yes, at the time, I did say you don't have to pay me back because everything he was going through, on top of that, I didn't want him to have a two and a half thousand pound debt. Shortly after that, I've been told by someone that he moved into an apartment with his new girlfriend. With friend. his money? With my money. With Ooh. my money. Yeah, right. My money. Now, obviously, I didn't want the money back at the time, but there's no way that I'm paying for you to go move in with a next girl and make her do that because for our relationship, I was always financially supporting him. And I just took my money back. back. I took my money back, yes. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah. I was accepted. I did not get it. And he's not getting a penny back from me. Let me tell you something. Big girl. He came to the right place. Girl. Bye. Bye. Girl. This is the big walk right now. How many times did you cheat on her? This is the thing. I didn't cheat on her at all. You know, she's got Okay. Let me. Okay. Far over her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Like aggressively, I see her point of view, but if you want to be a good person, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, like if you gave him the money and you said, hey, you don't have to pay me back, 
Yes, that was under the thought that it was going to a certain place, but at the end of the day, you still gave him the money and said you don't have to pay me back, so. Mm. Oh, she's got it in her head. Hey, wait, 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 wait. She's sitting there delusional. Jackson. She's just sitting there bored, and she's just thinking, oh, oh he's cheating. I'm just going to accuse him of cheating. You don't know. We're not going to relationship, and we're not going to talk, and we're not going to do it just out of boredom. Mm. <laughs> Dip the descent of Katrina, tell me the money is yours, even if you break up. Yeah, yeah. When a woman is in love with you, yeah, she's gonna hold you down because she loves you. Okay, well, then y'all gotta stop being in love with people and holding them down. Like, I don't know. Hmm. If you're in a situation and she's financially up, she's gonna look after you. So when you stepped out and you was doing my f number f and when she found out, she's now probably thinking, you were cheating on me, you moved in with this girl, I basically paid for that place. Let me run my money back. So, Are you telling me that she's in the wrong? Because you will go to jail. <laughs> so what? So what you're saying is obviously she's giving me the two thousand five hundred, and you just said said right there. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I like certain stuff. Like whether you're in love, whether you're in the clouds on a pony whatever like just do stuff that you're comfortable with and do stuff that like at the end of the day no matter how it ends you're like cool like that's it because if you're have more money than your partner financially and you're okay supporting with them supporting them cool but if things go sour you can't just be like everything i gave you run it back then just do not give the money and just be that she's obviously giving that money because i was treating her well in that relationship now she's no. come out here saying i've been treating her bad for Sorry, a relationship why did she give me that money so it's just lies it's i didn't lies. give you that money because you treated me well in a relationship i give you the money because i helped you because you was in financial troubles okay so like this is what i'm saying like if you're First of all, if you're doing something that you're going to hold over somebody's head, don't do it. It's not even worth it. Second of all, if you're doing something that you're like, oh, I'm going to regret this or I'm doing this only because, just don't do it. Like, if he was cheating on you and playing on you, don't give him a dime, a cent, a quarter, a nickel. And this literally wouldn't even be a problem. And this is how you repay me. My like, guy with the next girl trying to not pay, give me my money back when I'm asking. Well, I, I can do you no wrong in the so team. I can't move on with my life. I've you guys, darling, you've moved on. I'm going to be here. And you're taking me to court. You've actually brought me to court. I've had to take you to court. Please you, understand that. You've gone into my account and stolen money like that. No, right, right. right. I mean, I mean, just, Jamie. I feel like in the court of law, she's wrong. In the court of emotion, she's right. But everybody has emotions. We all, you know, we were going through it. And money, money hurts. So, mm, what can I say? Why did you refuse to give Katrina the money back? I said to her, I'll give the money back, you know? And she said, no, you don't need to give me the money back. You keep it and stuff. So, obviously, she said that now. She was being polite. Oh. What? then don't be polite that, that like that's what i'm saying you can't when you do something you can't like excuse it i was in love i was polite blah 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 i was just trying to be nice if you say something if you do something that's the end of it so do not do stuff that you are not okay with because realistically there is a high chance that he's not getting that money back he's not getting that money back i don't know but she shouldn't have done it she let me two and a half back you didn't want to pay her back. You're taking her to court. You're I did want to pay her. Obviously, I was happy to pay that back, and I said that. But you know, all the stuff she put me through after the breakup. Well, I believe like, you. You cheated on me. You then took two and a half grand off me to move into a apartment with your new girlfriend. He didn't take it. You gave it. That's a problem. You shouldn't have gave that man money. So. And you're telling me what I put you through. Is this how you guys ended? Because Jamie cheated on you. Yeah, I don't know. But can I ask, Katrina? Did you feel the need to not give Jamie back his money because you decided that he decided to move on with somebody else? I'm not gonna lie. When I gave it to him, I didn't say Jamie pay me back in this. It wasn't like that. He was going through a really hard time with financial troubles, and I'm a good person, so I helped him. And then, not even two weeks after that, it's the deposit for the new apartment. You did say to Jamie, the money is yours, even if we break up. So now you guys are broken up. Okay. it's the truth and he's telling the truth it's unfortunate and it's a bad situation and that's he's really dead wrong for taking <laughs> and he's really dead wrong for taking your money to go get a house with the next girl but you gave him that money and you said it's fine don't pay me back you should not have done that sorry <laughs> Devil's avocado here, but you did say to Jamie that even if we break up, the money is all. Yes. I took my money and he's not getting a penny off me. I, I should be charging him more. Luckily, I left him with 36 people for half a loaf of King's Mill in his bank account. Yeah? <laughs> is that not stealing? No, it's not stealing. It's taking what's mine. Is it not fraud? <laughs> is it not cheating? Is it not manipulating? See? Now we're. If, if everything is everything, then nothing is nothing. I don't even know. Like. Yes, he's wrong. Yes, you're wrong. Now we're all wrong and we're all looking stupid. But we came to the courts today. <laughs> but we came to the courts today to discuss fraud. So we're going to have to confront the fraud. Cheating. I don't know. Y'all go to moral court or y'all go to therapy or I don't know. So I don't know. Is it not a legal activity? How did your relationship end? Because I 
because I left him because I found more messages from the girl in question that he actually moved into the apartment with. Do you have evidence of Jamie cheating and talking to this said girl? But that's my thing. As messed up as it is, even if that man cheated, even if like straight out of your hand he took that money and got the apartment with the girl, legally you're still in the wrong and like luckily this is just the pink court because if you were in a real courtroom like you're paying that man back so just do not do stuff that you're not like completely completely comfortable with because like going back and being like oh but they did this a lot of people don't care so oh. yeah there's text messages i want to see it bring on that i want to see it we have got someone here actually for everyone so Lots actually fresh. Fresh. Can I have There's my witness? Can I have my witness walk through this courtroom, please? Witness, please. Where is she? <laughs> Who is it? Oh. Oh. Oh no. It's a man. It's a man. Who's this? I thought it would be the babe. <laughs> Let me find <laughs> it. <laughs> done. <laughs> done, bro. She's done. Stupid, bro. What's your name? John. So, John, before you get into it, can you repeat after me? I, John. I, John. Swear to tell the truth. Swear to tell the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. In the pink courtroom. In the pink courtroom. No matter how messy it will be. No matter how messy it will be. Hey, John, who are you, bro? I'm his next door neighbor. Oh, okay. okay. So you're his next door neighbor. I see you. I'm as surprised as you guys, but honestly. That neighbor is a snitch. <laughs> like, that neighbor is a snitch, Loki. Yeah. Always had to be. Always had to be. John, I have a question for you. John, yeah. what? When did Jamie and his girlfriend move in? They moved in at the beginning of January. Wow, he's Wait, sorry, I'm so sorry. Do you not feel mad that you're making your neighbor like that? You're no. going back to the same building. Um, what's your beef with him? I don't have a problem with him. Like, he, he's, he's, you know, he's a decent guy. I don't really see him very often. I can hear him. But, uh, oh yeah! Oh, what do you mean you can hear? Yeah, the walls are thin. Mm. How long does it last? <laughs> Two minutes, if that. Oh, I think you're sucking in the apartment that she got <laughs> deposit for. How do you know that Jamie and this said lady are a couple? Well, he moved in on a Monday okay. morning. Friendly building. We all know each other. Monday morning, Monday afternoon. Uh, talking to Did that make them a couple? Did you even have your furniture built? Listen, I don't know, I don't know what this guy's talking about, but when we moved in here, we, we were like, we were friends when we moved in, like, none of this was happening until a little bit later on. Be for real. Be so, be so for real, you're just moving in with friends. Okay. Do you have intercourse with your friends? I mean. Do you have intercourse with your friends? I, got, I'm, I was saying that, I was with her afterwards. With my friends. I was with her afterwards, that's what I'm saying, but I didn't have okay, intercourse with her before we I know moved in. Jamie, please. Order, I think it's time we get some hard evidence. Jamie, where's your evidence on us? A text message here that where I said I could give the money back and she's like, no, don't worry, keep that, keep the money. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you were in real court, all he has to do is show that text message and your case is literally thrown out. Like, emotionally and morally, yes, he's wrong. Like, he's dead wrong for snatching that money up and, and getting a place with his new girl. But, like, legally, you're in a bind, babe. You're in trouble. Thank you very much. One sheet. What's up? You're not doing his armor. <laughs> what? Anyways, we got oh, we got the message. The deleted message. Please, please. What's going on? Why are you deleting the message? Okay, so we have. Oh. We were together here. We were together this time. I'm gonna. Ah! I'm gonna. Okay, ah! okay. Let me read because it's chaotic. I'm outside, babe. Open the door. Coming, babe. I just see the money. Thanks so much. Baby, this is the funny thing so much. I'm going to pay you back as soon as I can. No worries. I hope it helps. Nah, baby, you're not. I got you. Okay. Unfortunately, that is the end of your case. Ah! Are you okay? Babe, I'm going to the money. Thanks so much. Mwah. I'm, I'm going to pay, pay you back, back as soon as, soon as I can. can. Yeah, I'm going to shift. And she said, no, her case is done. Afterwards. No worries. I hope it helps. Now, 
babe, you're good. You know, I got you. However, Katrina did say she didn't say, say, but you did say <coughs> that you were going to pay her back. Yeah, because I never, I was going to obviously pay her back, but she said, nah, and that's obviously just messy. She didn't oh. say, she said, no, 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 no. See. This is evidence in the court of law, yeah? Let me tell you something. There's no way in this paragraph where she says, nah, she literally said, no, you're not. He said, I'm going to pay you back. She said, no, you're not. He said, this is the response. I'm going to pay you back as soon as I can. Nah, babe, you're not. I got you. So literally, like, that's it. said, so, nah, and that's obviously just... <coughs> that you were going to pay her back? Yeah, because I had every... I was going to obviously pay her back, but she said, nah, and that's obviously just... Messy. She didn't oh. say... She said, no, 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 no. See, this is evidence in the court of law, yeah? Let me tell you something. There's no way in this paragraph where she says, nah, don't pay me back. She says, you know I got you. I hope it helps. No, he said, I'm going to pay you back. She said, no, you're not. So. I said, don't worry about it, but don't worry about the money, but. Katrina, you got any, well, your evidence is here. I don't Katrina, know Katrina. I feel like today ain't enough no crumbs, girls. Like, John, you dismissed. No, the neighbor's actually hilarious. I don't know if he likes mess or what, but like to show up all the way in court for like something that you're so not involved in, that's hilarious. Enough for me today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, John. Right, okay, guys. I think we've heard it all. So the closing statement will give you each 60 seconds to give your reasons whatever is your favorite. My final statement is that Jamie will not be seeing another penny from me, period. He's a liar. He's a cheat. He's a manipulator. Go live with your new babe. Hopefully you can start paying your rent for your own apartment. I'm in my bag and I ain't got time for the drama no more. <coughs> Jamie. At the end of the day, you went into my bank account without my oh, permission. Really no, let me, you stole money from my account without my permission. Whatever you think this was your money, like this theft, I just want the money back that she's obviously stolen from me. And uh, I'm happy to just part ways and never have to deal with this ever again. All right, well, me and Inji are going to take some time to deliberate. Please be patient. Be back shorty with the verdict. Three bags. Okay. I'm a, I'm a numbers girl, so I round up. That's three bags. Yeah. 25 to left. 25, 25 to left. Wait, are you, are you doing better now financially? Yeah, now I'm not with her, yeah. Boy, be for real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Buddy. so I think it's time that we hear from our lovely audience. That's right, audience, you will have some panels underneath your seats. They will say guilty or not guilty on each side. In the case of Katrina v. Jamie, do you find Katrina yeah. guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Guilty, but it's unfortunate, but guilty. Of theft. You said guilty of theft. She stole the money, correct. Is she, what if, was she right in doing it? Was she wrong in doing it? That's up to your interpretation, morally and emotionally, but guilty of stealing the money? She stole that money. Go! So we have all the men that are guilty. One, two, three, 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 two,
and I don't know why I'm pretending I'm trying to speak to this girl, but I'm just speaking to the viewers. <laughs> but like, if this case had actually gone to court, she could have either been arrested or like something bad could have actually have happened. So I feel like the best thing to do would have been like, I think the best thing to do is like be preventative versus like after. Because once you get into things where you have to scramble and like morally and emotionally, that's when it's super, super flimsy versus like literally. And I know like, whatever you're in your feelings, like we're all human, blah, blah, blah. But like, I just feel like a teaching that like, just do not do things that you're not comfortable with. And like, if worse comes to worse, you feel like you have to get back in some way. So yeah, I don't know if that makes sense. That was a juicy little episode. I'll probably react to another one. Thanks for watching.